127. Integrated biorefinery. Fossil fuel feedstocks are used to generate electricity, to produce transportation fuels, and to produce also a wide range of consumer goods, such as plastics, healthcare and drug products, agrochemicals, and even food um, flavorings. These reserves are, however, finite, and they pose additional challenges related to geopolitics and to the physical accessibility of the feedstocks. In addition to that, the decomposition and the burning of the fossil fuels generated products leads to the unsustainable addition of greenhouse gases to our atmosphere. Within this context, there's been increasing efforts to use bio-based feedstocks for the energy, for the chemicals and the materials production that we need. Um, using renewable resources from agricultural, from forestry and from aquatic resources, particularly the residues and waste streams from processing these materials, will be essential to sustainably changing the material and the energy basis of our economy and of our society. However, this must be implemented within a context of competition with the food, the land and the water use. The benign and the efficient downstream processing for recovery of the full value of the feedstock must also be considered. Whereas petrochemical refineries are very materially efficient, almost every drop of the crude resource finds an application and has value, this level of resource efficiency is not yet reached within the bio-based economy. One example, um, the second generation bioethanol production, typically only uses part of the biomass feedstock, leaving behind some waste, some of which is burnt to power the refinery, but the rest being a lost value. Within an integrated biorefinery, all fractions of the biomass feedstock would realize its value, from producing low-value and high-volume products to low-volume and high-value products.